Hi everybody, I am that nursing prop and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Patricia Benner's stages of novice to expert. So Patricia Benner was a nursing theorist who came up with this very famous um, theory kind of explaining about how our clinical experience makes us better nurses and how we grow as nurses through our clinical experience. So there's five stages. The first, where everybody starts, right, is the novice stage. So we have no experience whatsoever. We're straight out of nursing school and everything is new to us. Very task or skill focused in this stage, meaning it's not necessarily about thinking about the bigger picture and our patients as a whole. It's more like IV, fully, managing my time, passing my meds. How am I going to organize all my stuff and get it done by the end of the shift? That kind of thing. So more skill focused at this stage. Rule followers. Now that's not to say that these other stages don't follow the rules because of course we follow the rules, we stay within our scope of practice, all of that. But what I mean by rule follower is more like follows instructions, prefers to get instructions, right? A novice nurse is going to be the one that says, you know, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Give me the instructions in a linear way. So step one, step two, step three, and then they follow the steps completely. So a novice nurse is more likely to do that. And they're relatively inflexible. So we like our steps, right? We like step one, two, three. But then something happens and then we can't go to right to step three. We have to like change it up and the novice nurse does not like that. The novice nurse is more likely to get frustrated and stressed out by that kind of situation. An advanced beginner nurse is our second stage of nursing. So now we've had some experience, maybe like a year, okay? We've been working in the same place for about a year. We're getting a little bit more comfortable than when we were the novice. And we're going to use our past experience that we've gained while working there to help guide our future actions. Stage three is competent. A competent nurse is a nurse who's had two to three years experience in the same area. So working in the same part of the hospital or the same, you know, field, specialty. They have good time management at this point because they know how to like schedule their day and they know what to expect. They're very good at planning, so all of their patient care. And they can think analytically about things. Whereas before, we're just kind of following instructions, right? Now we're starting to think analytically about, hmm, what might happen if this happens? Thinking about the consequences of our actions. In the fourth stage, the nurse is proficient, okay? A proficient nurse starts to think the patient in a holistic way. So it's not just about the disease process. So you're not George in room 526, the guy with pneumonia, right? Now you're George the person, right? So you're not just thinking about them as a disease process or the treatment that you're giving them. You're thinking about them in a holistic way. And you're treating them in a holistic way. And then, of course, we're going to use our prior experiences to anticipate needs. So at this point, you've been a nurse in the same field for over three years, right? And so you've probably, let's say you're a med surge nurse, you've probably taken care of hundreds of patients with pneumonia at this point. So you get a new patient with pneumonia, you know exactly what to do, right? You have an idea of what exactly is going to be happening with them, right? The orders, the treatments, the meds that you're probably going to be giving, you kind of got it down. Okay, and you know to anticipate three steps ahead if they start showing any sort of like symptoms or changes from the norm, right? Because you've done this a bunch. And then finally, our fifth stage is the expert stage. So the expert is more flexible. They're more go with the flow kind of a thing. They think about intuition, so they just act. They just do, okay? Uh, lots and lots of experience in the same area or specialty. And it looks like everything just comes naturally to them, right? If you're one of these other stages, especially if you're a novice, and you see an expert nurse, you're just like, how do they do it? They just make it look so easy. They don't have to think about anything. They did at one point, but now they've just done it so much, they know what's going to happen. They're three steps ahead of what's going to happen because they've had so much experience. Let's do like a little scenario and see how these nurses would act in that scenario according to Patricia Benner. So let's say, for example, you have a code, okay? The patient codes, how are these nurses gonna act? 
the novice nurse is more likely than the other ones to get nervous and freak out, right? Her focus, or his, focus will be more about like, how do I get help? Okay, so getting help in the situation. The advanced beginner nurse is more likely to start CPR because they have some experience, they know, okay, I've seen a code, maybe they've been in a code before, um, and then what do I do? Oh, I don't know, I'll just do CPR. And that's helpful, right? That's helpful. All of these people are doing something helpful. The competent nurse starts thinking about like, okay, do I need to get the crash cart? Should I start recording, you know, what's going on? The proficient nurse is going to be thinking about, you know, the next steps. So, okay, this one's doing the CPR. Do I need to start pushing meds? Do we need to call a pharmacist? Do we need to call the doctor? That kind of stuff. So they're thinking further in advance about what's going to happen. And then the expert nurse is the one in charge. The expert nurse is the one who runs the code and kind of tells the other ones what to do. You start the IV, you get the crash cart, you call the family, you get the doctor, that kind of stuff. One other thing I really wanted to point out in this video is just because you've been a nurse for a really long time doesn't mean that you can't fall into any one of these five categories. For example, if you've been an oncology nurse for 20 years and then all of a sudden decide to transfer to, you know, the OR, you're a novice again. Right? Because that's not what your expertise is. So you might be an expert in oncology, but now you're a novice in the OR. So that was my video on the Patricia Benner stages novice to expert. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If not, I'll see you on the next one.